Okay, uh, I just started it. So I uh, broke my clavicle, and uh, I guess I haven't looked. I guess I hit my eye, and I, I hurt my knee. I got anyway. I got a lot to talk about, so I'm not going to post this for a while. Uh, so I have a vid video on my YouTube channel that I got pulled over for speeding. Right? The officer said slow down, and I said I'm not going to, but you're the first one to stop me. Right? I was going very quickly, smooth and comfortable uh, on, you know, a freeway with nobody around, right? So I, I look way in the distance because I was doing a fair rate of speed. I look way in the distance and I see lights flashing and I know my speed, not immediately what it was, but how I was traveling, right? So I uh, turned on my, my right turn signal, you know, to indicate that um, I saw him and I was going to get over. And then I pulled over and turned on my hazards and waited for him to catch up to me. In other words, had I maintained that speed, he, he probably would have tried to radio out or whatever. But that time of night, I could have got away. However, I'm also a kayak. I'm very identifiable. But that's not my nature, right? So once I recognized what was going on, I pulled over. And then, um, you know, I explained my, my situation. And he, he asked me, how fast I thought I was going. And I said, I think, you know, 110. He goes, I got you at 100. And I said, okay. He goes, but then I think, think you sped up. I said, sorry about that. I don't know how that's going to play out in court, right? Because I didn't know my speed. He asked me to estimate. I gave an estimate. I don't think he hit, from, hit me for more than what he got on his radar. That's 100. Um, so at that speed, he had the option of if he wanted to arrest me and impound my car, right? Now, so I was just in a zone. The car was smooth and I was traveling at a comfortable rate, right? Nobody was around our highways. Most of them are engineered for 90 miles per hour, right? But they get over-engineered, right? So, and they're redoing our highways. This thing was baby ass smooth, over-engineered and my vehicle, right? How many people get to stretch the legs of their vehicles to where the, they, they run like they're engineered to run? So all that carbon and shit that builds up in them and everything else, that decays the vehicle. I need my vehicle to last forever. So periodically, I do need to open up her throttle and let her run, right? I'm going to keep that woman. I, I was going to keep that woman around for a long, long time. I have a broken clavicle. I have a banged up knee. Um... But nonetheless, so that's where this becomes very, very bitter in my mouth. I was proud of how I handled the traffic ticket, right? Mm -hmm. But then I turned around and wrecked my car. Different type of driving scenario altogether, right? Um, these are little windy roads in the mountains. So I wasn't going fast. I, I was going quick, but I was not going fast. And you know that particular hairpin at your house. So this vehicle is rear-wheel drive. And I'm not going to blame traction slippage because I love that car. But um, when I hit that hairpin that was sharper than I anticipated, my uh, navigation sent some notification and I glanced down at that. So I took the turn a little too wide. I hit the ice edge on, on the side and then slid up onto the berm. Once I was up on the berm, right, then I, I went airborne. And there you go, I dukes a hazard into your yard. So I am now in the house of a very lovely family. I, I crashed their party, literally. I uh, flipped my car in, in their backfield and um, they, they took me in. We got the cops um, out here, we got the vehicle. I, I stripped down as much as I could got the vehicle um, towed out of here. There isn't a mess other than my stuff. And uh, my mother's gonna come with an Isuzu Outback tomorrow to uh, pick me up. Um, so I make these videos and Kim right now is the only one that's watching these. So I can take this and I can post it and make it private. There's a way for me to do it so she can see it. I don't really want to talk about this publicly okay. until I go to court, right? Because yeah, I'm, I'm court is March 30th, so I'm not going to put this video out where I explained everything, you know, prior to court. 
So there you go. Um, in the future, we just have dialogue back and forth. Mm -hmm. So I get your opinion and things like that. But, I, you know, I'm going to turn this off.